Namaste, everybody. Haribo once again. So I am here today trying to answer some questions from different people who have written to me on the internet. You know, I have many questions from many people in many different parts of the planet. And one person asked me, what about money and yogis? <laughs> some people think a yogi is a person who has no money. He has nothing. See, he's some ascetic that lives in the Himalayan mountains in a cave. He's just got one little loincloth, you know, and he eats air. And so they see the idea of money and yogis as contradictory. They don't go together, see. But actually, in the bhakti yoga system, we see many things different. Many things that people think, oh, it's this way or that way. The Vedic teaching is, no, it's a different way entirely. Mm -hmm. So we understand that money is energy. Everything is God's energy, and money is God's energy also. Money, as the world is today, is a powerful tool. You can do many things with money. That's why everybody wants money. The more money, the more power, the more facilities. I can enjoy this, I can enjoy that, I can go here, I can go there. You know, I can control this, I can control that. It's a whole power structure as well. You see, that's why everybody wants to win the lottery. You know, oh, I want to win the lottery. Oh, I won the lottery, see. But we see money as different. See, many people think money doesn't go with spiritual life. We say money is a part of spiritual life for a real yogi. It's God's energy. The real yogi, that person who is truly in harmony with God and his plan, he wants to please God, he wants to serve God with all the facilities that God arranges for him to have. He sees money as a beautiful facility used in God's service. Many programs that we do, we give public lectures, we make these videos, we travel from one place to another place trying to spread this message, give people this information and so on. <clears throat> you know, the equipment necessary, on and on it goes. It costs a lot of money. Money's needed. The way society is structured today, what can you do without money? Not very much, see? So we use God's energy in the form of money to help spread this message, to propagate this Vedic truth, see, to encourage other people to take this process into their life and actually find true happiness and true satisfaction. So the more money, the better, if used properly. Money is not positive, it's not negative, it's neutral. If you use it for your own self-gratification, if you use it to exploit other people, to control other people, if you use it in destructive ways, in so many different ways, it's negative. It's a bad thing. But if you use it in the way I've described, then it's a wonderful facility, you see. So, yeah, we, we, lo we love to use money in God's service. It makes us truly happy. To keep it for myself, no. To use it, yes, great. Mm -hmm. So send your money and we'll use it properly. <laughs> How do you go? <laughs>